So you've done some artwork and uh, you've learned your pencil tool and your uh, pen tool and you started using these, but what if you make a mistake and you need to correct this? Now I showed you before you can use your uh, your transparent function to do that, but there's actually tools that are a little more uh, efficient for doing erasing, basically the eraser tool, which is right here. And if we click on this, we have several options. Let's uh, zoom in on our black line here. So we can see this. When you use a hard eraser, it's going to be like basically just cut right through it. And when you use a softer eraser, you have you can get kind of more of a nuanced effect. You can go over it a few times or lightly, and you can adjust all this like the pen. You can adjust the hardness, the brush size, the density. If I turn this down, it's going to be a lot weaker. That's I can, I can even change if the pen pressure affects the how it erases. For my purposes, I tend to use the hard eraser the most, but these other erasers also have their uses. Um, vectors and multiple layers we'll talk about later, but for now just know that you can play around with these and get slightly different looks to how you erase. And as before, you can go in your subtool uh, detail and make all kinds of changes if you really want to change what you're erasing and how it looks. So you can get some really cool effects when you do this, but uh, this is very detailed eraser work if you if you do plan to change all this. But it just goes to show the customize the custom custom ability is that a word? The customizing quality of all these uh, tools. They're really up for grabs. So play around with them and mix and match because a lot of the uh, coolest effects are found accidentally and by tweaking things and experimenting and uh, having tools interact in ways that they weren't really intended for. So you'd be amazed what you can discover. So play around with these for sure.